Hello, I'm Lisa Peter, and I'm coming to you today on October the 26, 2014, from Hazelwood, USA. And the topic of the devotion today is, If We Are the Body. Acts 2.47, King James Version, says, Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. Acts 3 and 6, uh, Peter was going up into the temple, and he seen the layman laying there. Um, then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, when the man asked of alms of him. He says, But such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Verse 7, And he took him, Peter took that man by the right hand, and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Verse 8, And he, the lame man, leaping up, stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Why did Peter say, In the name of Jesus Christ? Because that is exactly where the power is. Do everything in word and deed in the name of the Lord. Why did Peter use the right hand? Because the right hand signifies power. He lifted the man up by his right hand. The term Jesus being seated at the right hand of God doesn't specify a separate throne or position. It means power. Jesus said, all power in heaven and earth belongs unto me, to Jesus. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Peter lifted up the lame man, and immediately, through the power and authority of the name of Jesus Christ, the man's feet and ankle bones received strength, and he was able to stand. We're supposed to stand up. Stand up for Jesus. And this man, he walked. This man walked by faith, not by sight. We walk a daily walk with God. And he was leaping with joy. He was going into the temple. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord, walking and leaping and praising God. To God be the glory. In everything we give thanks unto God. There is power in the name of Jesus. This is why we baptized in his name. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is why we pray in Jesus' name. When we bless our food, we bless it in Jesus' name. When we pray for healing, we pray in Jesus' name. All things in word and deed, in Jesus' name, the name of the Lord. As the body of Christ, one church, members of one body, with one head, Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. Verse 13. For by one spirit we are all baptized into one body. In Jesus' name. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit, receiving the Holy Ghost. Verse 14, for the body is not one member, but many. Verses 15 through 27 go into all the different parts of the body with 27 finishing. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. We all have that specific calling that God has given us to do. The other night I went to bed early and I was having pain in the area behind my earlobes right back here. I don't know if it's thyroid or, or what it is, but it's having some pain behind my ears, and I was gently massaging them, and it felt so good. And while I was doing that, um, I began massaging my jawline, you know, just like right here, and, and then all over my face and my neck, feeling for my spinal cord, just, just right in this area. And while I was doing this, on my face and my neck and my eyes, you know, that feels so good when you massage your eyes gently and I would just feel you know this is cartilage and your ears are cartilage and your eyes are just put into the sockets and I just I don't know I, stuff I never do this isn't me this isn't what I normally do but if you know 
if you listen to me long enough, you know that God makes me do weird things out of the norm sometimes because he always has a message he's going to give me, and that's what I'm talking about here. But I was contemplating on our, our skeletal structure and how we're fearfully and wonderfully made. I got something in my mouth. Just a minute. <laughs> okay. And as my fingers massaged my eyelids, and I was just thinking about how temporal our sight, our smelling, our hearing, our features are, and I just reflected that our hands and feet and jaw will remain longer, you know, as a skeleton. And, you know, I don't think it's because it's Halloween time. We see skeletons everywhere that I had this thought. But anyway, it's true. You know, the world's not afraid about putting out skeletons, but us, we don't like to talk about it. We don't like, you know, we don't want to think about death. And I'm not, this isn't about death, so don't don't freak out. Don't think I'm morbid or anything, because it's not. But, you know, I was just reflecting on it's true that our hands and our feet and our jawline is going to remain longer and uh, than the other parts that think and smell here, you know, that kind of stuff. So it must be important that what we do, where we go, and what we say must be the most important. That's just my contemplation. And I thought it was interesting. But then the next morning, dear lady's prayer, God reminded me why, in my prayer time that indeed we are his hands. We are his feet, and we are his mouthpiece. We are, he speaks through us. He uses our words to, like right now, to minister to others, to uh, lift each other up, to edify. And I couldn't find the word mouthpiece in the concordance, so obviously it, the word itself may not be in here, but the, the meaning is in there. Acts 17 and 28, For in him we live and move and have our being. They pierced his hands and his feet. And you know, he was, as a lamb led to the slaughter, he was quiet. He wouldn't he didn't speak a word, you know, uh, when they was mocking him and saying some stuff. He held his peace. But he is the word. John 1 and 1, John 1 and 14 tells us, In the beginning was the word, and that word became flesh and dwelt among us. So see, his hands, his feet, and his mouth. We are his hands to touch the world around us. We are his feet to go where he may lead. We are his voice, crying as one crying in the wilderness. We are the only Jesus this world may ever see. Isaiah 51 and 16 says, And I have put my words in thy mouth. See, we are his mouthpiece. Thou art my people. Acts 17 and 30 says, And the times of this ignorance God winked at. Oh, that whole, that whole passage, it all goes together. It's really good. But I just pulled this part out. But now command all men everywhere to repent. You know, God once winked at ignorance. You know, he put up, he tolerated with a lot of stuff. And it seems like right now he's putting up with a lot of stuff. You know, Nineveh, if... Uh, Jonah wouldn't have went back to Nineveh. God was going to destroy that city, but he went and told them to repent. And when they did, when they did, God forgave them, and, and God didn't destroy the city. And Jonah almost got upset because God didn't destroy him. But, you know, that's beside the point. Um, we still do God's work. It, whatever may turn out may not be how we think it's going to be, but we still obey. We still do what God tells us to do for his glory. It's for his glory. Romans 6 and 1 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us that were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? That's why we get baptized in Jesus' name. Every week I tell you, Acts 2, 38 and 39. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you. You know, it said in here, Jews, Greeks, bound free, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. We are to repent. We are to be baptized in his name and receive the Holy Ghost, to be his hands, his feet, and his mouthpiece, to reach out, to be that light in the night. Um, I just kind of drew a little sketch. Oh, I'm glad you can't see it very good because it's all scrawled. But I drew just a, a stick figure of a of a man, a body. And, you know, there's different verses that I could go and look all these up, but I didn't. You know, even our very hairs are numbered. We're important to God. Um, he told us to be still and know that I am God. 
Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. We're supposed to use our mouth as, as praise to him. We are his hands. Our tongue is the most wicked member of our body, but yet he took it to use the tongues to, re to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The evidence of the Holy Ghost is used with their tongue. Our breath, he breathed into us, living soul. And Jesus breathed on his disciples and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. He was telling him, them that the Holy Ghost, when we receive the Holy Ghost, that is the breath of God. Um, you know, our neck, he called, God many times called us a stiff-necked and rebellious generation. You know, we don't want to be stiff-necked and rebellious. We want the Lord to be our head and control us. We, want to be, uh, we are fearfully and wonderfully made, I said that. Um, they lifted up Moses' hands. Remember during battle and the war, as long as they had his hands up, the, the, they were winning. But when they let his hands down, they started losing. So, you know, get your hands up. Praise the Lord. The trees in the fields lift their branches and praise the Lord. Um, Eve was created out of, the, out of the rib. The woman was created out of, uh, out of the man, the rib. Uh, the bosom, the bosom of Abraham, and John was the disciple that Jesus loved, that he was always, you know, right up close to Jesus. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Oh, I put that already. Okay. Um, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. This is the Holy Ghost. This is that refreshing. We walk by faith and not by sight. Feet, how beautiful are the feet of them that carry the gospel. Have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I'm going to praise the Lord any way that I can. There was one man, Lanny Roof wrote a song about some men that he saw. He didn't have any arms, uh, no hands like we have, but his, like, he had been amputated or maybe born with just nubs. But anyway, he got those nubs, those elbow parts, got them clapping together. Um, I'm going to praise the Lord any way that I can is the name of the song that Lanny Roof wrote because of that. He saw that. If we're the body with where he leads, I will follow. You know, our eyes, that's where our tears come from. Our tears of repentance. Our tears of remorse. Our tears of prayer, our sincere prayer. And he bottles up those tears. He bottles up our tears and keeps them. And set no wicked thing before our eye. We are, we are going to be accountable for what we watch. So, you know, our, it is important still. And smell. Just send up that fragrance, that apothecary, that sweet savor unto God. Um... You know, he talked about um, Jacob was wrestling with that angel. And he said, I won't go until you bless me. And that angel touched that sinew of the thigh and gave him a limp. You know, um, the bodies of, we are the body of Christ, members of one body. I know I'm rereading through some of this stuff. But the valley of dry bones, you know, where all the different parts of the body came back together. Can these bones live? Yes, they can live. You get the spirit of the Holy Ghost living and you get that power. And we are, remember, we are his, his eye, uh, we are his hands, his feet, and his mouthpiece. But also, oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. You know, the Father up above is watching down in love. So be careful what we do and say yes to the Lord. God bless you. This is Lisa Peter coming to you today from Hazelwood, USA. Y'all have a great day. God bless.